Good morning, everybody, on this 24th day of November. <clears throat> Weatherman said no rain until late evening. Uh huh. It's raining, uh, light rain right now. It's been raining fairly hard all morning. Must be nice to be a weatherman and get paid for not being accurate. <sighs> Go figure. Um, little bit of stuff happened yesterday. Um, want to talk about today and, uh, explain, uh, some things. And, um, so we'll go from that point. Um, I evidently, uh, pissed a guy off yesterday from Ireland, uh, and um, I, I deleted his comment uh, because he put in the last part of the comment. He put in, uh, oh, you're living in sin then. You know, you're living in sin. Uh, I talked about that um, I would like to have a companion. I never said living together. Uh, and he took it that I was living, wanted to live with uh, a woman without being married and uh, that's against the church rules very strongly against church rules um, the LDS church uh, you don't even walk into a woman's house uh, if the husband's not home for example or to a single person a single lady's house you stand outside uh, if you're doing teaching and stuff like that, you have a witness with you. Uh, if it's a female house, you try to take your wife with you, for example, um, so that uh, you don't, there's no uh, uh, being accused, because it's very strict, especially being a member of the LDS, and you get accused of that. You get called in the bishop's office. And uh, especially if you're a, uh, uh, you have duties in the church. So, with Google, uh, for example, you can take and type anything you want to, let's say, um, uh, on Facebook. About a week later, you can Google that and it, you'll find it. Google, uh, does everything they they send everything to Google like they own Facebook um, same thing with YouTube uh, if you post uh, a comment on YouTube it's going to be on Google everybody can find it and so me being a member of the LDS church and hold an office in the church yeah I deleted that comment um, and I'll do it again and without hesitation uh, I, I like Joe. I like him a lot. Uh, I think he's a good kid. Uh, he does stuff to piss me off. Yes, he does. I've been trying to teach him the proper way of doing DJ work. Um, and then he comes up with a comment, for example, uh, well, I'm gonna, we're going to have my own show. You know, they're going to do a community thing. But that's all. And that's good. But he says, then I'm going to start talking in the middle of the song. You don't do that. Um, you won't have very many listeners for very long because your people turn, tune in to the radio station not to hear you. They don't want to hear your voice. They want to hear the music. You know, it's like, oh, God, here comes some more commercials, you know. And they run five or six commercials, you know, one right after the other. And then they play a one or two songs and in more friggin' commercials. The radio that I do on Sundays is limited commercial interruption. I don't get paid for those commercials that I run. I do it out of the goodness of my heart for my friend Christian Wilde. And I uh, do it for George Norrie you know, from Coast to Coast. Um, I don't get paid for those. Because I'm doing, I'm volunteering my my work, my job, my my everything that I have for our troops in Afghanistan, Iraq. So I don't get paid for that. So there's 
two commercials the first hour, two commercials in the next hour. The rest of it is mostly music. I might every once in a while mention that I need teddy bears for Christmas. Uh, something of that nature, which by golly I still do. Um, so, um, Christmas is coming soon. But, um, other than that, uh, Joe's a nice guy, nice kid. I'm trying to teach the proper way. Um, he doesn't seem to have, you know, a father figure that sticks by him. Uh, which, that's a shame. I, I think Joe needs that. Um, he needs that fatherly closeness. And I've been trying to do that. Um, yeah, he teased me off every once in a while. I don't say nothing. I leave it blank. I don't get into it. But he put this rant on there about me. On um, So here's the response to it. He got him a new cell phone or getting a new cell phone. Which now we no longer can uh, uh, blackmail. Uh, blackmail. Um, Blackberry messenger to each other. We we do that a lot. We talk to each other through uh, BM, uh, which is Blackberry Messenger, because uh, it doesn't cost anything. And I can chat with him all the way in Ireland, and I'm here in the U.S. Texting would be too expensive. Uh, this is a free service, but he's getting a new phone, so that's going to end. Um, anybody that's got a BlackBerry that wants to uh, uh, BlackBerry Messenger, let me know your pen, and uh, we'll add you, you know, if you're a friend. Um, so, let's see, what else? Um, not too much else happening. I was going to ride my motorcycle today. Um, the weather, so, um, what else, um, 27 more days, now, you guys on YouTube, I never said, I have never, ever, ever said that Jesus is coming, uh, and in this amount of time. Never said that. You're putting words in my mouth that's not true. Half of the earth could be destroyed and uh, he's not here yet. Yeah, that's true. We do not know when Christ comes. Not even Jesus knows that answer. Only God the Father knows when he gets, I think, my opinion, that when God gets mad enough of all the crap that's going on here and on the earth, he'll, he'll say, that's it. We don't know that date. We, we don't know. Not even Christ knows. It says so in the Bible. So... I never said that he's coming in, in 27 days. I said the earth may be destroyed by this new bureau. The earth has gone through four cleansings. You can ask any Hopi Indian and their ancestors said it's been cleansed before. Some of their people has survived. Well, what does this mean? Cleansing. Uh, there was an article ran where they found, they did a dig. They found um, a complete city, uh, which the, the, the rock walls um, were melted together. Completely melted. That means that some sort of heat would have had to have hit it. In order to melt rock, that melts around 2,300 degrees, if I'm not mistaken. They found bodies that are laying in the middle of the street uh, that were like died suddenly. 
they think scientists think it was a nuclear explosion so did we destroy ourselves and we didn't write anything down or did all the records get lost and we blew ourselves up are we going to repeat it again amazing only thing the heat of a nuclear explosion would would be above that it never got that hot on earth even lava is not that hot there was no trace of lava so what caused it something got that hot to melt the rock walls not just one wall all of them they found this uh, in Europe and I don't remember exactly where it was at um, if you guys are interested in knowing I'll look it up and find it for you um, yeah the earth has gone through a cleansing before they're gonna happen again I don't know I hope not a lot of people I know might die don't want that to happen well guys that's my video for today I got a tumbleweed in my yard what do you know we had a pretty good windstorm the other day and uh, got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of mess in the yard I never have understood why people want to pick up their leaves and rake their leaves up instead of grinding them up and let putting them in the ground it fertilizes the ground I don't know why people want to do that doesn't make any sense to me I've always taken and ground them up and uh, you know through lawnmower put a plate on the very front of the you know so it doesn't blow out of the lawnmower and chew them up to the fine point and leave them uh, they're good for the soil I don't know why people want to pick them up stupid you can tell if you chopped off the dirt you can see the years you know and that's that leaves turns into dirt after a couple hundred years so you can you can see layers jet up there somewhere sounds like a jet well okay gang have you a fun day I hope I explained my reasoning and uh, if Joe doesn't want to comment anymore on my video so be it I don't care this is my channel my my video logs my YouTube my Facebook and I really don't care I think of him as a friend I tried to teach him the, the best way I know of doing DJ work if he wants to do whatever he keeps commenting that there's a big celebrity on the radio that does it all the time and he's a big celebrity well that's him you know tag a poll let's put it this way do a poll and see what what comes up what do you guys think about talking in the middle of the song and see what kind of comments you get in the US they don't do it you'd be fired immediately if you did that people want to hear the song they don't want to hear you okay gang talk at you guys later have you a fun day uh, golly not too much longer in December's here uh, and no snow on the ground nice uh, maybe we won't get any snow this year the weather has changed so much and the time that I have been alive 
in 56 years. Wow. 56 years ago, we'd have about snow up to your butt, you know. Now there's not hardly any snow. Wow, what a change. I think um, I agree with Sue that there's a lot of pollution in the air. Humans cause it. More cars than ever on the road. The gas gasoline companies don't want to change. They don't want electric cars. That put them out of business. Saudi Arabia, for example. They're friends with the U.S. because of the oil. We buy oil from them. They don't want us to go to electric cars. Can you imagine the price? Like, uh, like um, Brian said, you know, how much gasoline costs in Denmark. Can you imagine the price of that here? I remember when uh, after the big hurricane, um, it went up to like five dollars a gallon overnight, and that's a lot of money to fill a gas tank. They made uh, gas stations give people refunds. I can imagine. Uh, People in Denmark or people in Europe that has to pay that kind of price, you know, that's the reason why they ride bicycles. They're in better health than we are. You know, they they can't afford gasoline. They can't afford a car. Most people ride either a motorcycle, a little scooter, like a little Cushman scooter, um, to a bicycle, and they ride it seven days a week. Ladies sit on sideways because they wear dresses. So, yeah. That's, I think that's coming to the U.S. I think it's, um, it's inevitable that um, it's coming. Guys, this is a long video and I'm sorry. Guys, take care. God bless you. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, uh, Moose. Uh, thanks uh, for the picture. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, Joe, take it easy. Uh, take care of yourself. His daddy must buy him tires. He doesn't understand squealing tires like that or burning them off and it costs money. Stupid. Guys, take care. God bless you. See you guys later.